Hey guys, today I'm gonna um, show you a few things, go over a few things with you. <clears throat> um, some of my recent <laughs> scrollings on Facebook um, and YouTube too. So, first off, I'm gonna start with uh, Pablo Picasso here. Uh, apparently, you know, great artist or whatever, but uh, it says, for Pablo Picasso, his complicated relationship with women provided inspiration for countless paintings, drawings, and sculptures. He thought women were either goddesses or doormats. That's interesting. It's interesting. Dora Marr, one of his lovers, called him an extraordinary artist but morally worthless. He once said women are machines for suffering. He had several mistresses and he demanded that they be submissive and shorter than him. One of his mistresses killed herself uh, and two of them became emotionally traumatized and insane. He was also horrid to his wife. He, he once made his ex-wife divorce her husband so she can remarry him again, but he proceeded to marry another woman six years younger than her who was already 40 years younger than Picasso as a revenge. So, yeah, I'm not going to say that he wasn't a piece of crap, but also you have to wonder why he did these things. You have to wonder... A few, th a few things here. You have to wonder, first of all, why did, why was he allowed to get away with this type of behavior? Why would these women keep coming back to him? And why would they, um, you know, why would they say yes to, to this type of behavior? Probably because he was famous uh, in his own lifetime. And um, he just had a demanding male personality that he probably was narcissistic to the point that he believed 100% that he was like a god or that he was the ruler or he was the man and this is how a lot of men back in the 50s and 60s really really behaved and um, the irony is that you would think that with you know feminism and women's suffrage and all this crap that women would really run away from this type of guy but actually they as you can see they they left their husband for him kept coming back to him so women like men who are you know somewhat abusive to them you know I'm not saying he beat them I don't know if he hit them or whatever but he was just very uh, you know solid like iron in his in his resolve that he was better than women and that they should serve him or whatever and they they reacted accordingly right so he had, he had a bunch of lovers uh, he demanded that they be submissive. He said they were machines for suffering, which probably has to do with his whole philosophy on how to treat women, like treat them bad and then they come back. And, and this is just part of their emotion that is just fucked up. It hasn't evolved. They haven't evolved. And then there are some other women who, who, who have evolved. Now, do I think that's okay? No, I think he's a piece of shit. But, you know, you just got to wonder, why do they keep coming back? So I'm going to go to some comments here. Um... This is me here. The man knew what women wanted. <laughs> that's that's what I said, and that's that they obviously wanted that. Probably helped him a lot that he was famous and that he had a strong personality. They they are attracted to strong personalities. So even if you're fair, if you're kind, if you're moral, if you're just, they don't want you. They don't want that. If you're if you're a soft man, they want a hard man who's who's has resolve and and and. And even if you're a piece of crap, they'll still follow you and love you and even leave their 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 <laughs> their husband uh, for you. So it's nutty. Uh, so I said, he's definitely not a quote-unquote nice guy, and they loved him for it, even killed themselves over him. I mean, that's true. He, he was not, he's not a nice guy, and, and, and that's they don't want nice guys. So this person says, not a nice guy is a massive understatement, considering that he emotionally abused people to the point where one of them literally committed suicide. I mean, yeah, man, why do they keep coming back is the question. So so this guy says, wretched piece of shit would be a more accurate label. I mean, I, I don't disagree with that. And then I say, tomato, tomato, hoes and white knights stay mad, but nobody cares when women ruin men's lives, which is true. There's women who behave just like that and, and walk all over men 
And nobody gives a flying crap about the men. They just laugh at them, make fun of them, call them weak, weak men. But, you know, when a man does it, then all of a sudden he's a massive piece of crap. And, you know, it's just like such hypocrisy. So um, this guy, this guy hit the nail on the head. He said they kept, they kept coming back for more. So there you go. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. This other thing I wanted to show you was this here, this, this, um, this meme here, which says, and it's so accurate. Uh, I also love you. It's just that he can buy me whatever I want. You're free to call me a gold digger, but also cure my future. We can still be friends if you want. This is probably a young girl. I don't know who this is. Yeah, it looks like a young girl here. It's tilted to, to the side a little bit, but yeah, young girl saying this, some guy loves her and she says, I love you too, but he can buy me whatever I want. So she's choosing money over love. And then let's go to the comments here. This is from a page called Please press F. So I say, uh, all Walt, all, all women are like that. This guy says, dodged a bullet. If you ask me, he can buy me whatever I want. Now I look for a woman that can support her damn self. That dude with the money now got more problems or now got more money and more problems. Yeah, I agree. Now he got less money and more problems, which is true. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I mean is he got more money than the dude she texting fam. Yeah, I, I got women. I was just taking it to a different perspective. Yeah, I mean, now the guy's got less money because he's going to be spending on that girl. So there's some good comments from the guys here. I appreciate that. You know, they're they're recognizing it for what it is. And there's always that one guy that's like, well, it's female nature, man. You got to give her what she wants. And, and I'll get to that. I'll get to that in a minute here because there's a guy saying that on another thread. But I'm just going to read through this thread here. This guy says, good for her. <laughs> Damn, hit me right in my insecurities. Okay, and I'm gonna get to this right here in just a second, cause that's there's some fuck shit in there. But let me let me scroll through these. Op in 15 years. <laughs> what the fuck that is? Super F. So all the guys are like fail, fail, fail. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> some great memes. Um, hold on a second. My battery's about to die. I gotta plug this in here so I can still keep filming. Okay, there we go. I think that's working. Yes, okay, so. So let me keep scrolling here. I mean, that's fair as long as she's willing to be a woman and cook clean for the man and raise kids. See, see this is USB device not recognized. Dude, I don't give a fuck. Okay, um, get off my screen, bitch. Uh, okay, so this here is a this here is a interesting uh, take because there's a lot of people who think this. I mean, that's fair as long as she's willing to be a woman and cook clean for the man and raise his kids. They think it's fair. They think it's like normal or it's like an exchange. And I'm gonna get into that in a minute on this other thread. Um, and it's just weird to me how people. I mean, that is prostitution. That's hypergamy initially. This is hypergamy. Right, he can buy me whatever I want. He has more money than you, so she's jumping to the guy with more value. That's hypergamy, which is fundamentally shallow, not love, fundamentally disgusting from a man's point of view, or should be from a man's point of view. But then this person says it's fair, right? It's just weird. Like there's a disconnect, and there's no, there's no realization that this is shallow. This is messed up. Who raised this person? It's fucked up. It's not love to this where he says it's fair okay so this guy says agreed but she seems more like the trophy wife type that won't do shit but spend his money on clothes and plastic surgery uh through with whatever i want comment yeah i mean she does but still that's what what the fuck is fair about that he can buy me whatever that's not fair that's a prostitute anyway thought yeah yeah there you go Roses are red, violets are blue. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Can, we can still be friends. No, yeah, right? Fuck, no, I don't want to be friends with you, bitch. If the money matters more, she clearly doesn't love them. Move on. I mean, yeah, that's not love, dude. And, and then watch this fucker come in with his fucking philosophy bullshit. Though she doesn't deserve any defense, it's all. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You start that shit. 
Though she doesn't deserve any defense, it's always more helpful to think about things evolutionarily. These fuckers are everywhere, man. These guys are all over the net when they talk about this shit. And it's just like, what do you, why? Because you hope to buy a woman one day? Are you just some ugly fucking schmo? I guess not. It looks like the dude's got abs. But still, like, why would you... It's... Why, why would you look at it like that? That's not evolution. That's just prostitution. It's sick. It's always... A woman... Uh, all right, it's always more helpful to think about things evolutionarily. I like to think of gold diggers like meth addicts. They have just taken a good pathway thing too far. <laughs> a woman really does need to be very careful about investing her body and make sure that the guy has enough resources that her and her future children will survive. Yeah, okay, because people are really dying off in 2019 there's there's just homeless families everywhere these fucking idiots man like like you're a moron it, it, it's nobody i mean not saying nobody but but people it's you know people survive they're not homeless it's it's hypergamy buddy it's not survival it's not evolution it's it's hypergamy she's looking for the best scenario she's not looking for love she's looking for a better scenario financially and it's sick this is just that mechanism gone overboard with today's extreme wealth inequality more i mean yeah there's definitely classism there's definitely wealth inequality i would agree with that however again our bottom baseline you know the women that really should be the most hypergamous are women in like third world countries because they're as far as what you're saying evolutionarily they have more to gain by finding a man with resources uh because bottom line i mean you know even low income housing is not like so horrible in america it's just this is a weird way to think and and and, and kind of look at this it's i mean i say weird it's just shallow it's fucked up it's hypergamy so he's mistaking it for evolution it's just bullshit a woman really does need to be very careful okay blah blah, blah. more women thinking they can get an excessively wealthy man well yeah just like meth bringing forth the mechanisms of our brains chemical pleasure circuitry keeping them active all the time i don't know about that bro she just wants a good situation she wants a guy who has money and that's that okay and th and that's what's fucked up about it i don't know about addiction meth i don't know what you you know you're trying to make some weird ass point to a degree she would love the poor guy but her body says her future children are more important i mean yeah bit pessimistic but i'm not sure women ever love men the same way men love women exactly but we all have expectations exactly women do not love men the same way uh that men love women it's 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 a fucked up biology thing this is why migtow men should go migtow stop marrying these hoes and guys will play into this guys will try to give her the best nest and it's just like dude why would you how could you i mean if you do that how could you ever say i love you honey i love you like no because she doesn't if you you know lose your nest she's gonna leave you for because she loves her kids more than you that's how fucked up it is Nothing of value, blah, exactly. There's no value here. There's no value in a woman like that. At least she's honest, yep. Women. Honestly, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd block her instantly and let her live her empty-ass life. Yeah, but what happens when you when you love her? Like, we, you know, this is what these girls do. They get a guy to love. They, 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 they lead a guy on, get them to love them, and then they pull this shit out of, out of, the, out of their back pocket. He can buy me more than <laughs> like at least she's fucking honest yeah i will give her that man because i've had women not be honest and that's worse when they just draw it out and you're like why 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 don't you love me and then you just they, they, they're just not honest they, they won't admit that they're shallow as fuck karma's going to get her i hope it does and it's going to get her good you would think but usually it doesn't man because women in this day and age they they just they get they get away with murder they get away with whatever they fucking want they, they do this all the time break guys hearts they get away with it you can't you can't do anything about it because they got the law against they got the law to back them up they'll get they'll get restraining orders they'll get you arrested they'll get you fucked up man 
uh, and nobody will be there for her in the end. That's not true, man. There are white knights out there that will wife her down. There are guys who are looking to use their money to wife a woman like this down, and it's fucked up. And those guys are the worst ones. Those guys are the bad guys, the guys who want to wife her down. It's just like... And these guys think they, they're so deluded. They really think that like, oh, I'm in competition with other men and I've got this woman. Doesn't matter how used good, how much used good she is. Doesn't matter how shallow, how much of a gold digger she is. I got her over other guys who wanted her. And I got her through my wealth and through my status. And it's just like, why is that an accomplishment? It's not an accomplishment. That is, you have secured a gold digging hoe. You have secured... A, a shallow worthless woman and now you're going to have kids with that shallow worthless woman and your kids are going to be shallow and worthless or your kids are going to be fucked up and it's funny how like all these relationships have, have these kids and, and, and you know these kids running around and they're saying like I love you daddy I love you son I love you daughter I love you That that's not none of that is love because love is not contingent upon a, a man's finances love is not contingent upon you know a man's ability to provide and that's that's where you, I just differ on a lot of, I have a unique viewpoint, well, apparently not credibly unique because a lot of these guys are agreeing. Marrying for, economic re- <sighs> marrying for economic reasons is much wiser than marrying for sexual attraction. These fucking guys, see these guys, man. These guys are the enemy. These guys are probably atheists. They believe in evolution. And to them, it's just cut and dry. It, there's no love. They don't understand what love is. They don't understand, you know, both are important, but... It, in front of both should be intelligence. See, and this guy is just like a falah. He's, he's anyway. That's not wise at all. That's financially savvy in view of short, very short-term advantage. The personal toll is likely to outweigh the financial advantage within years, making it poor judgment, not wisdom. Exactly, because money is not love, and eventually, you know, the money is going to run out. And guess what? Guess what happens at that point? Then you're like, oh shit. Or, or even if, if the money doesn't run out, the the love is going to run out, or, or the 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 affection. Or you, so you're marrying for finances. You're not marrying for affection. So there's no affection there. It just doesn't make sense. There's no affection. You you would not want to get into a relationship. And if it, it's crazy, and and I there I knew a girl who I dated who was with a guy like this just for a good situation and she said oh he, he 